Crazy Towns Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. So TNT Yo. in uh, Wisconsin, a radio station, 104.3 FM. Hell yeah, the zoo. Changed to yes. Weird Al Radio. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> all Weird Al, all the time. We never watched that movie either. Yeah, I, sh- I, yeah, I, w- I kind of want to watch it. All right, I mean, it's, it's on Roku app. It's free all the time. Yeah. So I mean, it ain't like we it's should, going anywhere. We catch it. I heard it was pretty good. It's the only. It's the only movie they have. So why? Yeah, it is the only movie they have. Why would they think that this is a good move? I don't know. In the comments on Reddit, it said sometimes stations do weird stuff like that to drive away their fan base if they're going to flip formats. To drive so, away their fan. Yeah, like if you're like a like say you're a contemporary rock station. And you know in, like, say, three months you're going to turn into, like, a, a Spanish music station. You would flip formats to something that, like, completely would drive away the people who normally listen to your station. Because eventually you're going to flip formats to something completely different that your demographic is completely different for. So it doesn't really matter if you lose it. So you do something in the interim that doesn't make sense. Okay. 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 Uh- I almost feel like what's the point of even doing that flip if you're just going to flip into something that's going to drive away your fan base to begin with? Right, right. Like, well, in my okay. point, like, just do the flip from rock to Spanish music yeah. and the people will naturally stop listening. Uh, yeah. Oh, and, and on the same note, if I'm weird out, I don't know if I necessarily want my music to be known as the flip music. Like, and I don't, I, mean, <laughs> I don't know if that's the reasoning here, but, but he, here's the thing. It kind of is. I, I like weird out, right? Like. But do I ever sit and listen to Weird Al? No, nobody does. No. No, we're in love with the character. We're in love with the persona. Weird Al yeah, like, legend, the myth. Yeah, I still think you myth. should get a halftime show at the Super Bowl. I don't, <laughs> because that's insane. Such classics as Stuck in a Closet with Vanna White you do not think should be on. I'm telling you, Weird Al could do a halftime show if... They have people come out and perform the original versions, and then Weird Al kind of do like you know, like a like a skit where he comes out like that. But the thing, like does they have thing. Michael Jackson perform bad, and then he does. Yes, have a hologram of Michael Jackson doing bad, then have Weird Al Yankovic come up and interact with it, Fact. and then they both, and then they both end up doing the Weird Al version, and then have like it cool- would have to be a uh, like a collaboration of like here's yeah. the real song merged into the fake song back into another real song into yeah. a fake song like then have like a hologram of coolio rest his soul have him come up and weird al interact with coolio's hologram okay i see i see i see, I see what you're doing there yeah, yeah. I, I think that would work as a weird al halftime show i could watch he could do that the nba all-star game and it would be okay like the super bowl is too big okay. of a show the wnba all-star game <laughs> the w that doesn't exist. The Jonas. MLB All Star Game, maybe. The MLB he ain't makes getting a the lot Super of money. Bowl. It's too, it's too prestigious of a slot. MLB doesn't have shows. They don't do a concert at their All Star Game because no, nobody watches baseball. No, I I call crap on that only because baseball is like these players are making like ten million dollars a game. A game, yeah, like crazy money in baseball. I will say is that the game's gone for so long. I don't blame people for not staying. I don't want to see a thirty minute show if you you're gonna be if I'm gonna be here for five hours. Right, right. Throw a thirty minute concert in the middle of a band yeah. I don't care about to like yeah. yo get that. Let's get these guys home. Yeah, right, <laughs> like dude, like. Baseball I, games are seven and a half hours like, long. Yeah. I went to a almost, baseball game that was three weeks. Yeah. It's, just, I, it's almost like with baseball, you should show up an hour and a half late. To a certain extent, You show like the fourth inning. Yeah. You get a nice like two-hour game. If you show up and the score is already a blowout, you can just wander around the stadium, have a nice time, get yeah. some hot dogs. Yeah, you're there. But, yeah. man, every time it's in, in my adulthood – since I've become a grown, when I was a kid, you don't notice. Everything's great. As an adult, <laughs> I've went to a handful of baseball games, like, um, in almost every single team, by the sixth inning, I'm like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Is it time to go yet? <laughs> like, especially if I'm not drinking. Yeah. Like, if you have to drive home and you aren't drinking, you're like, why am I here? Dude, I I will uh, firmly attest that every sport is way worse in person than it I is. I love football, and football is way worse in it's person. It's way worse in person. It's fun if it's like a meaningful game and you're there and the energy is yes. cool. But just like I had season tickets for the Browns for years, and I went to games, and we spent half of it in the bar downstairs or 
it like it was about the tailgating, not about the game. Like yep. it's about like it, hanging out with people is fine. If you're going with a bunch of guys, sure. But you can't you can't really treat these sporting events like you can't treat them like they're sporting events. Honestly, it's almost like going to the carnival, but the only show there is there's no trapeze, there's no tigers. It's just a football, it's game. Just a football game, or it's just a basketball game, or it's a, you know the baseball, and, and you kind of kind of treat it like that. Like, uh, yeah, every once in a while I'll come out and check on the game, but go on. They want you to wander around and look at all the shops and buy stuff anyway. I'll go around and look around. Yeah, because you know? it's it's people discount what announcers do for sports. Announcers and the camera work. Yeah, the camera work. Yeah, the camera work too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like we, we've, we've both been to like uh, WWE events. Yeah, even wrestling live is it's way weird worse. without the announcers way and without worse. the camera work. And like, yeah, yeah it's. It's way worse. Yeah, it's unless like, you're in like a like if you're going to see like raw in an arena, it's kind of boring. Yeah. But if you're going to like a small thing and it's like there's it's a it's a ring and like 10 rows of chairs, like yeah. that's a little more fun cuz it's very intimate. It's like a lot is going on like yeah, 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 But yeah. like going to an arena and sitting in like the 38th row watching The Rock wrestle John Cena, you're like, "Oh, yeah, and even at the smaller events, usually the refs, I mean, no, not the refs, but the commentation, commentary will be, you can hear it. Yeah. Too. It, yeah, yeah. And we're yeah. like, WWE, they're not doing that. And no. NFL, they're not going to do that. Because nope. nobody wants to hear the commentators over a loudspeaker to, to 10,000 right. people. Yelling. That reminds me of like high school football games where they do that. Do you do that? They're like, number yeah. two, running for a 12 yard game. Yeah. And it's like gain, 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 gain. <laughs> and it's it's funny because it's like on a small a smaller scale, it's perfectly acceptable. But when you're talking about professional, yeah, ten thousand, twenty thousand people, I know, I know, we don't want to hear that. No, dude. But it's yeah, I don't like it. I don't baseball, no. dude. No. Like <sighs> never. I, you know what? And it, it's sad to say, but yeah, just watch it on TV. It's way better. Super Bowl way better on TV than it is in person. For especially for how much you got to pay. Yeah, that's inc- that's insane. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah, there you go. Uh, do that. I and did go. Yeah, I went to an AFC championship game in Foxborough one time. I had really good seats. Had, like, probably 15th row up from the front. Mm-hmm. Like, not quite midfield, but, like, close to midfield. Like, pretty mm-hmm. damn good seats. It was cold as F. Yeah. And they lost. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, yeah, this is a great experience, but, oh, my God. And the people that sit in the, in the good seats are hoity-toity, and they don't get into the game anyway. Like when you're sitting like on the front fifty yard line area and you're those first seats, those those people pay a lot of money for those tickets. They're not hardcore fans. They're not there to like get all riled up. Like the lady who sat behind us was like a retired Patriots player's wife. She didn't say a goddamn thing the whole game. She just sat there cold. Like <laughs> like the people who you want to be around are the people in the upper deck because they're the cheap seats. They're the real fans who are coming just to see this. Mm-hmm. You know, like it, and those are the fun areas because everyone's all riled up and wasted and falling down bleachers and fighting. You're like, what the hell is but happening? But then again, it's like the spectacle isn't even the game. It's more or less just looking at the It's people the people and, watching, man. And I will have to say is that the most fun I've ever had in any sporting event is when we went and saw the Steel Hounds. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. The yeah. guy with the trumpet. And, and make yeah, it, minor it, league sports is great in person because it's not about the game at all. It's not. Yeah, and honestly, yeah, it'd be because the, p- the prices are cheaper, you're gonna get more p- more apt people to come in and just, drink. Just get riled up and yeah. drink and have a good time and yell and hoot and holler and be and, stupid. And that that is that is some of the best experience. I can it say. really is. Like yeah, I've I've yeah, went yeah. to quite a few minor league hockey games and I don't really even care about hockey, but I've always had a good time. You know, honestly, I think that hockey. Might be the a, best live sport. The best live sport. I think it is because I understand it the least, and I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just like, oh, they scored, woo! But they, yeah. but like hearing the puck slap, hearing them yeah. get crushed into the the boards and stuff, yeah, like that's entertaining. You don't hear that in football. You don't hear that in basketball. Yeah, and like, I feel like the arenas are because I've been to like a Monsters game. I've yeah, been yeah. To, uh, but they're they're still minor league. Yeah, too. they're all minor league. Yeah. I guess I've never been to like a major. Yeah, I've never been to a pro hockey game. And like I have to go to like a Maple Leafs game. Yeah, yeah. And like well, there's t- the Dallas Stars. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty big. There's too. one. Yeah, yeah. They're, I'd they're have to NHL. see how many people go to those games. I mean, but... it's a full arena, but I couldn't imagine sitting in like like I sat in the upper deck for the Cavs. Like sitting in upper deck hockey yeah. seats. Like I've touched the wall. Yeah, dude, you gotta <laughs> you gotta like if you're hockey, if you're in the the lower bowl or a stadium that only like because the minor league normally play in those one level bowls. They don't have the second level, so every seat's a good seat. Mm-hmm. Um, you're good. 
But like, I couldn't imagine sitting in the upper deck for hockey. I don't think it would be as fun. No, definitely yeah. not. Definitely yeah. not. But I'd have to see what the stadium looks like. I'll, I'll yeah. look it up. I don't know. Anyways, go to thecrazynow.com to see everything. And uh, for Jonas. T-A-T. Oh, yeah.